Correctly, because it looks like it's really only getting you and not the rest of the guys. Well, that's the thing. This camera, this camera is decent. That camera is shitty and all. That one, that one's shitty and all. That one's getting me and him, like the less important people. No, 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 don't move it, don't move it. You can move it if you want, but it's just shitty and old, and we don't want the shittiness yeah, on you. They're the professionals. They've got to come and let them do it. We're not professionals. Since when are we the professionals? They're just they're the professionals, and they've got to come. We haven't really. Don't this, don't is, this is all. We're making up as we go along. Okay, you should do this. You should do this. You should do this. Yeah. Okay. Can you stop? Yeah. No. No. Let's shut up. You got the money shot, there. Oh, yeah. Get the money shot. Good evening and welcome. My name is Silent Mark and welcome to A Day in the Life Of. Now, a while back, just after I'd interviewed the band The Motion City Soundtrack, a fellow asked me, what's it like for bands backstage on tour? Like myself, a while back I thought that it was full of parties, women, booze, drugs, everything you associate with a rock and roll lifestyle. Unfortunately, I have found the opposite. But, he didn't believe me. He said that apparently they partied while I wasn't there. Fair enough, you could see that. But I decided to prove him wrong. I said, listen, I will prove you wrong, my friend. I will find out what it is like for a band backstage. And I will prove to you. And I will show you. So I went to it. I started getting in contact with people here and there and everywhere. And I found them. Success. Oh, mainly because I'd interviewed these guys a couple of times before. I asked them and they said, yes, certainly, come down, you can spend the day with us. So I did. I went down with a crew of one person who shall remain nameless, and we decided to spend a whole day with the band, The Real Big Fish. This is Scott's final thought. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. The Japanese you know, you have to leave it for centuries. Yeah, every day. Based on a, like a two day break. old, old, old um, tale of a young man. Um, it's kind of like the Greek myth of Icarus, but it was, it's a little different. But, um, because 
in this one, he lives. Because he had um, broccoli in his pocket. See? That shows you kids eat your vegetables. No, I don't think he's eat your vegetables. I think just keep keeping them up. Hang on to them. Yeah. <laughs> your broccoli they won't cheese. do the good for you that your parents think they will. But they'll do good for something. You yeah. know, kind of like repel lightning or something. Um, not really That's sure. Exactly what broccoli does. I mean, besides its nutritional value. It's a modifier. 